Hi guys, this is a Dollar Tree haul, not a Family Dollar haul. My apologies. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. So we are going to do the hits and misses of Dollar Tree makeup and see what works and what doesn't work. So stay tuned. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled my hair up because my hair tends to get in the way whenever I'm doing my makeup. I went ahead and primed my lids because at the Dollar Tree, I didn't see any eyeshadow primer. So I went ahead and primed my lids. Um, so we will go in with the palette I bought, which is the LA Colors Nude Palette. And it's just like some pretty nudes and purples in the palette. So we will go ahead and try that and see how that does. All right. So I'm just gonna go in with a couple nudes here. I'm just gonna mix them. Probably just a couple of these nudes here. I'm just gonna mix them up. And this is another dry formula. So you will run into that with these products that some of them can be dry. I am noticing like I'm dipping in pretty good and they're still kind of dry. So it is a dry formula. Colors are pretty, but formula dry. You have to like go in on them a few times to even have it show on your eyelid. Could be the brush that I'm using too. Let me see here. All right, so those are basically nudes that are on my eye right now. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but I'll go ahead and try with a couple purples and see. Mix them. Purples tend to show up a little bit better. Seems more smooth than the nudes. There is some fallout. I can see that on my face which I will be wiping that off in just a moment. So yeah, there is some fallout, but like I said, the purples, they tend to be a little bit more smooth than the nudes. So I'll wipe this off. I don't like all this fallout, but okay, it's from the Dollar Tree. Not this in it, but it is what it is. A lot of palettes do have fallout. Um, Let's see here. Do I want to go in with a... I don't think there's really even a shimmer in this palette. Yeah, I don't really, I mean, I see one, but that's pretty light. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's kind of a light purple on there. And then I'm gonna go in with the eyeliner. Um, they do have an eyeliner. This is LA Colors Black Eyeliner. I'm gonna try with this. This is a pencil one. This is this old school pencil, and I hope it does not hurt my eyes. So let's see here. Oh yeah, it's gonna I don't think I can use this, guys. This is very sharp. I'm used to the other eyeliner that's more soft, but still a pencil. Okay, uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do on this eye, but I'll have to do the other eye like that too, but I'm not gonna go any further. I'm not gonna put it down on my lower lash line either. I'm just gonna coat the top part and be done because this pencil is very sharp. So yeah, I do not recommend this eyeliner
Okay, so in case you're wondering, my studio light just died, so I had to replug up my battery. Um, and let's continue. So yeah, I do not recommend the eyeliner. Um, I will not even use this on my bottom lash line. There's no way, it's too, it's too rough. So um, let's see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. Um, I didn't really see any primers at the Family Dollar you know, for your face. I seen a setting spray, but I did not see any primers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prime up real quick here. Again, I am using the Catrice primer. Um, it's a really good primer. So I usually use this one or the Professional they even have a primer that is called No Problem. Um, <clears throat> that's a real nice primer as well. And then they do have foundation. So this is a medium deep shade. Hopefully it works. Um, we'll see. Again, it's a hit and miss video. So we'll see if it works or not. I have to rub in some of my primer there. All right. Give me just a moment here. Okay, so yeah, this is the medium deep shade. You can see it's just running out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my finger here. Just dab it in, it's very liquidy. Okay, the shade don't look too bad. Hope I don't look too dark. Doesn't look too bad, let's see what happens. What cov you know, what coverage it brings, I don't know. We shall see. I'm just going to go in with a sponge this time and see, you know, if I get coverage or if it's just going to be light coverage. But yeah, I figured I'd go in with a sponge and see how it does. So minimal coverage. This is a very light based foundation very minimal coverage it's not covering anything at all on my face at all not at all maybe on camera it looks like it but it is not it is not covering up anything on my face at all this is just like water on my skin so yeah i don't like it i don't like it yeah i don't like it i don't know if you guys can see it but there's no coverage on my face whatsoever none none at all um, but for the sake of the video, I'll keep going. It's a hit and miss video. I was debating on whether wiping it off and putting on my own foundation and going with it. But yeah, this is no coverage at all. Okay, so what else? Let's see here. You know what? No, I'm not wearing this because it's not going to go good with the makeup that I have. You know, well, should I? Mm. I'll go ahead and do it. Let me just continue. Now, as far as concealer and setting powder, powder, they didn't have that at the Family Dollar. So I will conceal and put on the setting powder and come back and we'll finish um, the face. So I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my concealer and my powders on amazing what you know concealer and powders do because that foundation was not giving any coverage whatsoever it's, again it was like a water-based foundation and it just was not agreeing with my skin it's too watery um, but anyway so then I have um, blush no sorry I have bronzer and this is in the shade baked so this is a baked bronzer that I'm about to use and we'll see what this does This is a pretty light shade for it to be a bronzer, but this is the darkest they had at the Family Dollar, so. It's pretty, it looks like it's going on like a blush. It is pretty, I like the color. It is kind of light, again, it looks like it could be a blush on the skin, I don't know if you could see that, but yeah, it looks like a blush. Um, and then we actually do have a blush um, and this one is in the color Spice. So this is the color Spice, not too different from the bronzer. Um, so 
Let me take my brush here, dip it in there. Okay, so you can really, you know, see it there. It is a pretty color, both of them are pretty color. It even looks like this blush looks like it may have like a little bit of a highlight in there as well. So that is pretty. Um, they also have this jelly highlighter illuminator. I got that from there as well. This one is in the shade Candy Queen. Um, so I can try this on here and see what happens. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my finger in here and just dot it. Let's see, I'm gonna take this highlighter brush. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm just gonna take the highlighter brush and try and blend it out. And yeah, I can see it, it's really glowing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a glow there. I'm just gonna take my finger, dot it again. Just got a couple dots on there. Just blend it out. And then like, if it was too much for you and it's too bright, you could always blend it out with a sponge with a sponge that you put your foundation on and that would tone it down some as well. But yeah, this is very pretty. It's a pretty color. Again, that's Candy Queen and it doesn't take much. So it's a very pretty color. Uh, me personally, I'll probably blend it down a little bit because it looks very, I don't know, bright to me. I like subtle colors or not so much on there that and it just takes it down some it's not as bad but yeah it's still a pretty color so there's that and then we do have these Ardell lashes they're called aqua lashes right I've never done lashes so we're gonna try it out I'm gonna see how it is and go from there so I will be right back and I'm gonna put this on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so lashes was a fail. I was just in the bathroom for like 20 minutes trying to put them on. It says that they're water activated. I put them on, they're not sticking to my eyes or they get on my eye and they fall off. So I will practice on lashes, but today, no, nah, it didn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and with the mascara that I did get from the Dollar, uh, fam what is it, the Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, this is the Big Lash Mascara. We're gonna put that on. It says that it lengthens uh, lashes, so we'll see. We'll see if it does. The wand, it's okay. Let me see. Mm, I mean, it's okay. It's not really that, you know, lengthening in my eyes. It's okay. Yeah, there's hardly any coverage on here, but... It is what it is. I mean, again, it's the Dollar Tree, so. This is what you get, but I figured I would do a review, you know, on Dollar Tree makeup. So yeah, you're not really getting that much coverage or length or fullness off this mascara. Yeah, it just ain't doing it, but it's okay.
yeah i'm not even gonna put any more on because i'm not getting anything out of it so that is that Okay. Um, what else do I have here? I have setting spray. So I can, for the video, I can do the setting spray. This is the setting spray from the Dollar Tree. And let's see what happens. Okay. Something fierce. Don't recommend the setting spray. And then last but not least, I did get me a lipstick. Well, it's a lipstick, but it's like, it changes colors. It said it's supposed to change your lips to the color that your lip is supposed to be. So we'll see what this is about. So it starts off clear. So this is the color and we'll see what happens. I'd say this would be my favorite part. Okay, color is not bad. Color is not bad. All right, guys, so this is it. This is it, and this is what a full face of, well, almost a full face of Dollar Tree makeup is, besides the concealer setting powder. Um, let's see, concealer setting powder. And that's about it. So this is it. Um, I can give you a review. The mascara, I definitely wouldn't purchase. The blush and the bronzer. Now again, these are some hidden gems. I like these. Um, the colors are similar. Um, I like these. They went on pretty well. The eyeshadow palette, now it's a good palette. It's just dry. I love the colors in here, but it is just dry, so. Um, the highlighter, this is pretty, it's pretty, but you know, it's pretty intense, um, but it is pretty. What else? The lipstick color, um, this is pretty too, you know, and the setting spray. Now this is something fierce, you know, it's all right, but you know, something fierce. And that is it. Um, the lashes, I'm disappointed in the lashes. I'm sitting here in the restroom trying to put them on and they won't stick properly, but I will practice with the lashes as a whole anyway. I will be practicing with lashes, so practice makes perfect. So that's that, but other than that, that is your haul. So I hope you enjoyed your video. Um, please stay tuned for more content and I thank you for stopping by. Have a good day.